Good afternoon. I am back to paint more quick holiday cards. Um, yesterday, I painted a whole bunch of trees and metallic watercolors, and this was really fun, but I've got lots more cards to make. And I did this in about two minutes here, and I'm not completely in love with it, but it was a really quick and easy way to make a wreath. And I've seen these little techniques that use a jar. And I thought I'd show this to you anyway, in case you want to do it. Um, I'll switch up the colors and we'll see if I like it any better. So let me show you how I did that. And then I'll probably just freehand paint some more wreaths. So for the stamp method, you want something round the size that you want your wreath to be. So I have these super mini jars from this advent calendar. Um, and then you're gonna want to add your paint around the rim. I've seen people put it in paint, right, to pick it up. Um, but I'm just going to loosely paint around the rim. And then kind of find your center. Give it a quick little stamp. And there you go, you can go from there to paint. Um, I said I would show you my petals brush, so I'm gonna kind of just use the round four that I have right now, and then I'll paint a different leaf with my petals brush. So because this card is really small, I had to use a small jar, and then that means my wreath is small, so it's um, gonna be a dainty one. And then I'll show you how I freehand paint wreaths. So to be like this one, I'm gonna use two different color greens, add some berries, layer, so right now it's looking a little sparse. So this green is called Deck the Halls by KMS. I'm gonna add in some forest green and I want my leaves to look a little different. So these are gonna be small green leaves. Not perfect leaf shapes. Just making my way around with my second leaf, mostly aiming to fill in the white spaces left behind from my first layer. Trying to alternate within the wreath and outside the wreath. So already that's looking a little bit more full. And then I want to add a gold berry, something to make it pop. So I'm going to add gold leaves or golden leaves to either side of my stamp. So it's a little bit balanced there. This is all just one brush. I like a loose style, so I'm not spending time perfecting my berries. And I think it looks better that way. Okay. So it was a very quick wreath. I don't know that I love it enough to paint a whole bunch like that though, so. I want to show you how I would paint a freehand wreath without using that guide. So let's do that. I'll stick with the color scheme for right now. So let me put these up here just so that we have some comparison. I'm going to start same brush, same green. 
Um, and then I'm going to make three curved lines. This is about how big I'd want my wreath to be. And it's not a perfect circle at all. And I don't want it to be. It's not like I'm breaking up um, a circle into three parts. So this is fine for me to work with. One of these is going to be the end point of one of my sprigs. So this is a much more open wreath already. There's more movement, I think. Um, and so this one, kind of adjusting the shape with where I put my leaves. Hi, Reaper Kills, West Virginia. Thank you so much. All right, and so now I've got my main areas that <laughs> Thank you. I'm appreciating the nails. Uh, some gingerbread cookies for my holiday nails. Um, so now I've got the main things done, and then I can do some little clusters of berries in the gaps. And then maybe do a different leaf around them. Um, so for my next metallic color, I'll switch it up and use Tree Topper. So this is my next one. Really pretty metallic. Just waking it up with a little bit of water. And then a little cluster here. Some within the branches. Okay. I'll switch into my petals brush so you can see how I use that. So many ways to add greenery with this brush. I'll layer it here. Again, I'm looking for ways to make really quick wreaths. So I'm not trying to make every leaf look perfect. Um, let's see. A little bit more gold on that one. For me, that one is now good enough. <laughs> so I like, I like how full this is. It's a little too perfect. Paula, how often do I go live? I go a few times a week, so somewhere between three and five. Right now, I'm making these um, little watercolor cards and they're holiday themed. So yesterday I did a whole bunch of trees and different metallics. Um, let me do different style of 
breathe freehand. Oh, Paula Pallas. <laughs> yes, our names are similar. Thinking holly for berries for this one. The single tree from yesterday was pretty time efficient. I painted something like 15 of them in an hour, along with chatting and doing a few other things. The wreaths always take longer. Uh, thank you, Paula. Mama Robs, that is such a sweet compliment. I'm glad you enjoy the lives. Thank you, Paula. Hope you feel inspired to paint. <laughs> you guys are so kind, thank you. <laughs> this one is a wonky little wreath, but they are sometimes. <laughs> I can add another shade of green in there. Um, go over and try and balance it out. All right, this is why I like loose watercolor. It's okay if things are not super symmetric and pretty. It's about putting in the time and getting something out of it. This is something. <laughs> um, I'm using a Princeton Round 4 from the Velvet Touch series. It's a little bit smaller than my usual brushes, but it's a small surface, so I have to. All right, I think this one is done. What I'm gonna try is work on this kind of style, the stamp and go style, but try some different leaves with it and then, right, because I like the size of this wreath, but I liked how easy this was to create. 
right? So I'm gonna try and blend the two styles together. We'll see if I get something that I like. Okay, so starting with a green. Thank you, Pamela. How many of you were here yesterday when I was painting all of those trees? <laughs> Thank you, Pamela. You are awesome. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a kind of almost eucalyptus style light green leaf. Uh, yesterday was a really fun one. Lots of new friends and they, they did end up buying some KMS paints, that's funny. How long does it take for the paints to ship around the holidays? Oh, you're getting close to the, to the deadline there for shipping in time. Um, you'll still get it. Today's getting close. Yeah, it, it does take a few. It depends where you are. You bought paints yesterday, Bree, so they do ship out of Tennessee. So I know for me it takes a couple of days, and then I, I usually get it in the mail. Kind of, these are not my paints. Um, Vent Ventix, uh, I use KMS handmade paints. I don't make the paints myself. I'm just a happy recipient of them. Oh, I see. I just shipped a painting to Wisconsin. <laughs> So this is gonna be my base, my base layer of green on this one. Oh, I just saw, I love my cat. <laughs> You're here for wreath day. Okay, let's see, I had my palette off to the side to mix a quick color. I wanted some forest green and then to blue that up a little bit with blueberry cobbler. Okay, let's see about adding another leaf. something. <laughs> Berry time. Another metallic. Let's go with, let's see, glitzen. Could have went with a cool color too, but let's do glitzen. That's a really delicate one. I think for all these wreaths, I'm just gonna have to do a quick lettering of joy, something, something like that, because it's small and compact. Um, how do we feel about that one? Paula, you're, you're saying it's gorgeous. Uh, Ventix, I hope you have a great day as well. Thanks for joining in. 
I do like how, how neat and tidy these came out. So I think this is the, the way my wreaths are going to go for these cards. Um, hmm. Now I get to just play around with combinations of colors uh, and different greenery. I think I need some pine. I'll add pine to the next one. So let's start, let's start doing that. <laughs> let's get more done. Oh my gosh, my workspace is filled with cards. Like you can't, and then I've got all these palettes around me right now. Okay, we'll stick with the same stamping method. And I like that base green that I've been using, Tech the Halls. Just a little bit of paint to give me a guide. You're right, it is a fun problem. Kind of taking the water off of it and making round marks with the brush to give me a eucalyptus feel. Yeah, I think this is my favorite combination so far. I also just really like painting eucalyptus. Awesome. Yes, I, I love painting flowers. That is my favorite thing. Watercolors is just a wonderful medium. Ooh, okay, I'm liking the pine. My mom also paints with me once in a while. Not live, but next to me. <laughs> We've been known to do that. Okay, I like this combination here. Um, just a really loose pine. Yeah, I think that I found my my quick combination. I'm going to be doing this. Well, Paula, um, let me know her favorite flower and I can paint, hopefully whatever it is, <laughs> I can paint her a flower sometime live, okay? And Mama Robs, I really appreciate that. It took me a long time to build all that muscle memory and and confidence. Yeah, I love that combination there. Well, Paula, come back, join us, DM me. We'll do that. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, for this one, um, I think I want to add some champagne. If you were here yesterday, you remember that one. It's a really cute vintage gold color, antiqued gold, brushed gold, I don't know how best to describe that, but I believe this is going to be the design for most of the rest of the wreaths. Look at that. You like that one? <laughs> didn't take too long to paint that one. Um, 
kind of mindless blobs for your eucalyptus, some quick brush strokes around to make the pine, and then some touches of gold. And then I think in gold maybe a joy, I think, at the end. Right? Something like that. Even on its own, it's cute. So let me put that one kind of off to the side so I, I have that one to guide my eyes. I'll do a few more of those. Um, my goal is to have roughly 20 of these wreaths. I got close to 20 trees yesterday. So I'm going to have to speed it up here. <laughs> so deck the halls, trying to get my mental recipe done. Do you do Christmas ornaments using the jar rim method? Um, I've done that. I did that last year for one of my card designs. I had a really pretty pink metallic that I did with it. Um, it turned out really well. Do you, do you want to see me do one with uh, an ornament? Maybe the next set of cards will be ornament designs. Yes, okay. All right. And here we've got our wreaths. Yes, baubles. <laughs> okay. Let me get some wreaths done and then I'll show you what I would do for an ornament. Um, maybe do a whole bunch of those if I like them. Maybe even if I have it, show you the cards that I did last year. I think, I think my mom ended up sending some of them. So I don't, <laughs> I probably don't have a original one that I did. Okay, so a blue-ish green for the pine, very light pressure for that more saturated color. I like it bleeding into the eucalyptus in some places. And I'm not trying to get it identical. I'm not trying to say, okay, I put a pine there, I'm gonna put one here. I just want the same elements and for it to look unique, right? I, I don't want it to look like um, they're all the same. I am, I am using the same brush for all of this. Um, I'm trying to do very light pressure and use the tip of the brush to make the pine. And then the eucalyptus, I kind of um, press down to get the belly of the brush. Uh, that is one thing that I like to do in my paintings, use one or two brushes maximum uh, it's just easier for me. I don't like switching brushes in the middle of a painting. I kind of go with the flow. So, th so far these are looking slightly different and I'm fine with that. Um, what I do want is a different gold. So I, I want some variety. I don't want them all to look the same. So I'm gonna grab my golden leaves and there's something about switching for me because I like to have those color bleeds and if my flower is painted with one brush and then I've got to switch brushes um, I'm probably letting the flower dry in that time and then my my leaf bleeds aren't as pronounced and that's what I like to see in a painting. Some people just want um, it to dry completely before they go on and add a different element. So that's just a preference thing. And these are different. These are different golds, but also different amounts and placements. And it gives it a different feel. So this one's a little bit more warm because it's got the gold in there. This one, I let the cool greens and blues be the center of attention but I will add more to the next one. 
make it a little different. Yes, the bleeding is part of the charm, yes. Even though it can be unwieldy, and maybe they are not exactly what you intended, um, sometimes those are the best parts, for me at least. That was a little off to the side. That's okay. <laughs> oh, you, you like the, uh, I like the wreaths there. So here's how I'm using my round brush, really pressing in, letting the, the bristles spread to make that leaf. Let me do that again. I'm not trying to make it perfectly round either. color to get a little bleed there since that's what we like and then maybe one on the inside okay now I gotta add my pine same brush I just want it a little bit more blue and then just using the tip of my brush light pressure Raising the paper. Do you order your brushes and paint sets or get them at a particular store? Um, almost all the supplies I get, I get from Amazon. So that's my paper and my brushes. My first sets of brushes I got on Amazon. I had a pretty cheap set that just gave me a bunch of different rounds to start with. Um, and they were pretty good. I actually have them at work for my watercolor club. Um, and so my students use them right now. And the go-to brush that I use, I bought from the Princeton shop on Amazon. It's my Princeton Neptune Round 8. Um, it is my, my go-to brush for almost every painting. I use it somewhere. Um, I, I, that's actually the only brush that I have two of because my mom got me one and then I, I got a replacement. So we, we get to use them at the same time when we paint together. And then my paints, um, almost exclusively handmade paints at this point. So I still have some Winsor & Newton that I started with. I have a few other paints, but I'm pretty much only using KMS and Boulder Color paints. Those are my go-tos. Uh, and the reason you're seeing KMS a lot right now is because she's got an amazing set of metallic paints, and I love metallic paints for my holiday paintings. But when I go back to just painting flowers and um, you know my, my comfort things, I'll, I'll use more Boulder Colors. So you'll see that switch happening soon. Um, different set of metallics for those berries. I used snow globe. All right. I need a bigger stack of wreaths. I have to do some more. Um, 
still gonna stick with my color combo right now. I really like how they're looking. See my very, my very bad painting job. That's not, it doesn't have to be perfect because you'll get enough paint here that gets transferred. And then rinsing some of that off. Of course, I love chatting about watercolors as I paint. All right, I think I wanna paint Maybe, maybe 10 more of these. I gotta go a little bit faster. <laughs> the trees were a lot easier yesterday. I got into a little groove. Plus I was mostly doing one color for my trees, so that made it easier. They're going to go to my students. Yeah. Um, I'm painting enough so that each one of my students can have one. I did this last year, um, and ugh, last year it took me a long time because I did things like uh, gingerbread men, and I <laughs> spent way too much time on each of them. And so they're getting a simple design, but it's still done by me, and I'll sign the back and put the year on it. So a little something from me. actual Christmas cards are already done. My mom's Christmas cards are already done. Uh, and we have school next week. Friday is our last day, so I have plenty of time to get these done. Uh, I'm a high school chemistry teacher, so I see juniors, um, some sophomores, Oh, I really like this one. This one came out nice. <laughs> so they're around 15, 16. Mm, I think this one, since I really like it, it's going to be Holiday Tinsel. And actually, that's something that's different than last year. Last year, I didn't paint them live. I painted a couple of them live, but most of them offline. So that they can probably see which one is theirs from this recording. I'm going to save it. So that's pretty neat. <laughs> I do have a couple of students that follow me. Okay, so here's some silver. Ooh, this is, yeah, this is my favorite. So whoever gets this one, you heard it here first. I'm enjoying all of them, but this one is especially beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. All right, and then if you weren't here before, I have these that I did yesterday. so they can get a choice, you know, metallic tree or wreath. Okay, I'm really 
really do like this one too. Yeah, I am really happy with the trees, but um, I wanted to do something, something different. I have more than one little design, so. Here we go. Keep that one as my new inspo picture. And then yesterday, I ended up painting this one. Somebody wanted to see Holly getting swatched out. And this one took so long to make, so I can't. I can't just give this one out. This, this is going to be have to do something else. Yes, I. they do dry fast because this paper is not 100% cotton and I'm not using a lot of water. So I have a little bit of confidence that I can stack them and put them to the side. Let's see. I want to get these done. That's my goal. Let's say... 20 minutes and get them all done. We'll see if I could stick to that. That's my new goal. <clears throat> Keep me company. You can ask me questions, chat about your own watercolor projects that you're working on. Lots of you have KMS watercolor now, so what are your favorite paints? What color should the berries be for this one? <laughs> Let's see how long it takes me to finish this wreath. <laughs> Mama Robs, you inspired me to do a fall tree watercolor and I did one for my friend for her birthday. Oh, that's awesome. I've painted a few things for my, my friends. Um, a landscape for one. Those are really nice gifts. And the red berries. Uh, do you mean the little holly branch up there? <laughs> if I could do that quickly, I would do that as a design, but that takes a little bit of time with those leaves specifically. Paper, paper, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I think this one is almost ready for some berries. Yeah. I like the silver next to it, so. Um, I'm thinking maybe a blue shimmer. We'll see how that looks. I might get lost in there, but that's okay. I want them to be different, not all exactly the same. So this one's a bit more of a monochrome look. 
Okay, that's cute. I like that one. <laughs> Not as much as that one, but... I think that was about three minutes. Three, four minutes. I gotta cut it down. stressful part <laughs> getting it semi centered Tomorrow I have tutoring after work, so I won't be here painting. I'm trying to get most of my work done. Watercolor work. <laughs> so that I don't have to make too many on Friday. Almost done with this one. A couple more gaps to fill with some pine. And then some metallics. Yes, I definitely found my happy easy wreath medium. I feel like I could paint a hundred of these and not get bored. There you go. That one's still a little wet. I could see a couple of leaves are still shining there. So let me move that over to the side. We talked about other quick designs for cards like ornaments. Uh, is there anything else that you can think of that would be a quick design? And thank you, Mama Robs. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting in the groove. But I'm not really thinking as I'm going which is, I think, the happy, happy medium in there. So thinking a little bit so as to not make mistakes, <laughs> but just letting the, the brush do the work. Snowman. Using, using what method? The, the jar method, like this? Hmm, that's an interesting one. Um, hmm. I could try that out. I 
feel like a, a snowman, you've got a couple of parts, right? You got to be a little careful with the the face. Like, are we going to make a hat on our snowman? Are we going to have a scarf? So he could get a little complicated, but the jar method, I think, would produce a pretty good looking snowman. One big body and then you kind of go from there to make a, a second. A second snowball. A jingle bell. Um, I love my cat. Were you talking about chrome yesterday for a jingle bell? I don't know why I can't envision that. <laughs> I have to find a picture that is simplified enough that I feel like I could I could do. I can't just freehand a, a jingle bell. I need to see it in my mind. <laughs> Ooh, pine and pine cone. I've I just painted a pine cone recently for my watercolor challenge. Um, my 25 day advent calendar, painting advent calendar that I'm co-hosting with Traces of Water. Pine cones are good ones. Um, I wouldn't use the, the jar method for that, but I don't know if that's quicker or more time consuming than what I'm doing. Let's see, I think one down here. You got my time. <laughs> That's funny. I, if you paint too much pine, it doesn't look like pine to you anymore. I don't know what I'm painting. But I do like how some is light and some is dark. I like that contrast. Painted silver a few times. Let's do Jack Frost, something a little a bit more sparkly. I don't think I'd like to see a metallic orange, but I gotta come up maybe some more pinks. I did a few pink trees, so maybe some pink berries are in order. I'll do I'll do some pink berries on the next one. So far, waking up the, the metallic paint is slowing me down the most. <laughs> but it's a pretty one, as usual. Montice, uh, you inspired me to make my Christmas cards with little pine cones thanks to your tutorials. Oh, that makes me so happy. And thank you, Hopeful Optimist. Okay, we're gonna do a pink berry, but let me get my little jar and a little blue-green mixture to start it up. I've got plenty of paint on here, so I just need to really wake it up. Jack Frost, yeah, that's a it's a pretty blue. So here we go. Some eucalyptus. Really like the bleeds on that one. A little bit more color. All right, so we got the blue-green and the more green-green. <laughs> I like this one. Okay, and maybe one more here. Okay, now it's time for pine. And I have to show you the, the paints that I've been using for all these. It doesn't even look like I used much. Still got plenty left. Very saturated color here. Okay. 
Around we go. towards the bottom. I can actually see just this slight bit of glitter in, in the eucalyptus because my water is metallic-y. <laughs> okay, time for some pink. Um, I'm gonna choose acorn. I don't think I used acorn as a tree yesterday, so this one, this one will be a new-ish color. That's a cute one. Yes, I think I'll be using more acorn. <laughs> adorable. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I'm going to do another one like that. And I only have three more left out of my pre-cut papers. And I'm getting close to when I said I wanted to stop painting, so that's good. <laughs> jar. I'm so sorry to anybody who's been here since the beginning. It's a little repetitive today. <laughs> okay. This one, I didn't go all the way around, so I will have to eyeball where it should be. Yeah, I really like those pink ones. Maybe I'll add in a little bit of a, a stem there. Pine is up next. After painting so many of these, I'd love it if someone else would paint one tag me in your work if you decide to paint this really quick, simple wreath. for a different pink. This is going to be Cosmos.
two left. Cosmos for the win. <laughs> it is a good one. I've got pink tinsel. I guess we should do that. Why not? Okay, here we go. If you know the recipe, watery loose eucalyptus leaves. blue-green mix. Find the gaps. All the way around. And then it's berry time. <laughs> so pink tinsel is next. Here it is. berry and green blue leaf combo is really pretty is there a berry color that I haven't done yet that you'd like to see I think this silver one is still my favorite. Um, but I've got lots of options here. This is my last, oh, actually, look at this, I found more. <laughs> so I do have a couple more to do that I could do. Peppermint mocha, just a pure matte red, no metallic Mama Robs. Red should I do? <laughs> 
for the metallics, for these metallic works so well, I think. So maybe not the flat. Okay, so a metallic red. I don't know if I have it in front of me. I'll take a look. I'll see what I have. I don't have all of my KMS in front of me. I just have a few sample palettes. Um, so we'll try, let me take a peek. Okay, out of the paints that I just Pulled out. Ooh, we've got to try mold wine. I showed you that yesterday. Um, Haunted also looks like it would be pretty. So we'll do those. Um, let me get my pine in for this. cup of hot cocoa. Getting towards the end of my painting time. is ready for some berries. Um, peppermint mocha first. And then I want that mulled wine. <laughs> Missy says purple. Ooh. I do have a favorite purple that I haven't used yet. Um, it's called Confetti. So that is Peppermint Mocha. Actually, right in front of me, I've got Aster. So let's, let's try Purple Berry next. And then I'll do Mold Wine. <laughs> you could say that a lot, most of them, right? That was pretty. It was a pretty one. I like it. Um, all right. Check the holes. some water, cleaning my brush off a little bit. I don't want it too saturated. I like the very light, translucent look of the watercolor. And then I can always dab in a tiny dot and let that bleed.
There we go. That's the base. I think, I think I'm ready for berries right now. We want to add some purple ones to this one. So I'll use Aster. Well, that was a really good choice. This is one of my favorites already. That's a beautiful color. <laughs> Thank you, Missy. Great choice. dry now I can layer that one on top um, how many do I have now two three At least as many as yesterday and done. So, I think what I'm gonna do something a little different. I'll do the, the tree from yesterday, but I'll do it in purple. And I think that's how I'll end my live. So, I'll go for this style tree from yesterday and that aster purple. We like the uh, purple tree. <laughs> yeah. 
yes, I really couldn't do this without KMS. It just wouldn't look the same. Okay, I think that is, that's it for this little tree. Thank you for joining me in my card making adventure with yesterday and today <laughs> I oh I like them side by side <laughs> now that we have our matching purples here um, I'll be live on Instagram on Friday and Saturday I'll be painting with Tracy we're gonna do a live together painting for Traces with Palacios so one of our upcoming prompts um, I'm going to be tutoring tomorrow and Thursday, so I probably won't have time to paint live with you. But um, thank you to everyone who joined while I painted these cards and kept me company. I had a great time, and I hope you enjoyed. So have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>